Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Matt. I'm Lauren. I'm Daniel. I'm Bob. -Bob. I'm Kelly. And we're some of the Veggie Boys. Uh, yeah. And we'd like to thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, please consider subscribing because we can grow a lot of stuff on the farm. But one thing we can't grow is this channel without your help. <laughs> Good morning and welcome back everyone. It's so nice to see you. We are finishing off morning chores at the moment. Animals have all been fed and we've done an entire walk of our greenhouses just to make sure all our plants are okay. Even though the plants don't move, you still gotta check on them because sometimes crazy things happen. Last night into this morning, we received some rain. So everything's pretty sloppy around here. Another thing I'll mention, it is insanely humid out today. As I was collecting eggs and feeding chickens, I can just feel the sweat pouring off me. It's, it's gonna be a fun day. Now onto this day, what do we have planned? Well, there's a whole bunch of things that need to be done. Probably the most important thing and what I'm looking forward to is all the picking that we have. We're definitely gonna have to get a lot picked, not only for today, but for the weekend, which is coming up. So what I'm gonna do now is head in, get something to drink, and I'm gonna get ready to go out to the fields. We have now made it out to the field where we're gonna be picking today. One thing I will note, on a hot day, I love how far away these cucumbers and pickling cucumbers are away from the farm. We get a nice long ride to the fields. But like I said, now that we're here, the work begins and we're gonna be harvesting the cucumbers today. But if you recall from our last video, the cucumbers, well, they're a little special. And some of you may be wondering, why are they so special? And I'll tell you, because there's cucumbers and pickling cucumbers mixed in this row. So that just makes it that much more fun. Yeah, you can see we got our regular cucumber and then our pickling cucumber. And we're gonna have to be a little selective as we're going out through the field to make sure we get everything harvested. A wee bit humid. Could be snowing, that's what Dad said. <laughs> you want to be picking in the snow? Maybe. I don't think I'm quite ready for snow. Yeah. Although, I wouldn't mind a nice breeze. Yeah, a breeze would be a kill for a breeze. Well, for everyone that always says that cucumber pickles are cucumbers, you can show them now. They they're are completely not. different. Now some of you may be thinking, why don't you just put them in the same basket? That just makes twice the work for us later on. So we're just gonna sort them as we're going out through the field. But let me just say, things have not gone to plan. And I'll be the first one to tell you. That's just, they're beautiful cucumbers, pickling cucumbers, but they're just in the wrong row. say there are certain crops that seem to grow faster than others these pickling cucumbers seem to be one that grow really really fast the regular cucumbers they're in that same category we were just through here a few days ago and we picked an entire bin full of cucumbers and we were through yesterday and we picked over 26 baskets of pickling cucumbers out of our normal pickling and cucumber rows but now we're getting even more stuff and the amount of cucumbers is here it's just wild now even though it's kind of unbelievable that we're finding this much stuff it's kind of expected now when i say it's kind of expected it's not that we think we're always going to have the best harvest every single year we hope for that but we can't just know that's going to happen one way we can see how productive our plants are going to be is by the amount of blossoms that are inside the plants or that the plants are producing now right here where i am I'm seeing multiple blossoms, which is a good sign. Now, just because there's blossoms doesn't mean we're gonna have a good harvest. 
Uh, we need pollinators to do their job, which as you can see, they have been. And we also need to do our job to make sure that we're being delicate and efficient while harvesting through these plants. Because if we beat these plants up, well then the plants are gonna work on repairing themselves as opposed to producing more cucumbers, more blossoms. So even though sometimes it may seem like we're being a little rough going through these plants, I assure you we are not. We've been doing this for a very long time and there's certain ways that you can move the plants around where it is safe for the plant. Now, if sometimes as you're picking, you do rough them up a little bit, it does happen. It is to be expected. But when you're growing your own stuff, it's important that you be as careful as possible so that you can continue getting cucumbers like this. And if we don't have enough going on, we're trying to get all this stuff picked. I'm trying to film it for you and my camera is now overheating. So I'm gonna set my camera in the shade and I'll update you guys in a little bit. Can you believe dad showed up, hopped in the side by side and then just left us here? Okay, I'll give you a little bit of context. Uh, there was an order for some dill that we did not have. So dad brought the four wheeler out with the wagon and he picked some dill on the way. And then he showed up and said, hey guys, I need to go. There's an order back at the farm and he just hopped in the side by side. So. When he's done taking that stuff, he'll be back out here with us. And a little update I have for you is we've finally gotten out of the part of the field where it's pickling cucumbers and regular cucumbers together. Now it's just the regular cucumbers. So we're gonna pick everything we can, go through the rows, make sure they're all cleaned out. And now we don't have to worry about picking two things. So this should go a little bit faster. Not much faster, just a little bit faster. There's just so many. This always amazes me every single year how we just get to a certain point when it's just like we have cucumbers everywhere. Like more cucumbers than we know what to do with. We are moving right along. We've been picking pretty quickly actually. I'm surprised with how fast we've moved through the field. And it's not like there's anything there. I mean, if you just look down through the row, you can see all the red baskets that are completely filled. Now to just put it in perspective at how much we're picking here, when you add these two rows together, the entire length of this field, it's over a half mile of cucumbers. So we've just basically picked over a half mile of cucumbers. And when you see how much is on the wagon, you're gonna be amazed at one, not only how nice they look, but two, how many are actually there. Now there are definitely people that raise more than we do, but for us, this is like the perfect amount. It's almost a little too much. As long as we can get them picked in a decent amount of time, that's really what we're looking for. And two, that we're able to move these cucumbers because we're gonna have a lot. And if we can't sell them, well, that makes us sad. But usually we can sell them, which makes us glad. We just got the cucumber rows all finished. How are we feeling, boys? Million bucks. Woo! -hoo! Let's get going. On to the next thing. Woohoo! He got here halfway through. I was doing public relations. <laughs> Dad told us the reason why he was late was because he had people to talk to. Not just customers, just like regular people is what he said. Public relations. Saw a dear old friend I have not seen in 20 years. It was nice. So there you go. We won't we won't be too hard on him because we understand he wanted to see his friend, but still, he was late to picking today. So Daniel is going to be taking this full wagon home. He's going to work on getting these cucumbers and pickling cucumbers all cleaned up. Like I said, this is going to be a beautiful wagon and it definitely is just wow. Dad left us a little bit earlier on. He went over to start picking peppers. He's harvesting cubanelles and Matthew and I have got to grab a few more. Now we were able to help dad grab the cubanelle, but we still need to grab some Italian L, sweet banana, hot wax, jalapeno peppers. We also need to find some white corn and then that'll be everything that the farm market desperately needs today. Because we've started harvesting our own peppers, a lot more people have been picking up peppers, which means we need to pick more peppers. So we've been trying to supply as many as possible. We're at one of our different pepper fields now and we're all gonna be working on something different. Dad is gonna be getting sweet banana peppers. Matthew is gonna be getting sweet cherry peppers and I'm gonna be harvesting some long hots. I know it wasn't on our list earlier, but we feel like we need to take some home with us.
Look at this plant. Wow. I don't even know how many peppers are on this one, but we're gonna pick it clean. I just took all of these long hots off of one plant and there's still more to pick there. Wow. Andrew. Yeah, dad. If you need uh, peppers, there's more long hots down this way. No, oh, I got plenty right here. Now, if I was to name some of the more popular things that we raise, these long hot peppers would be one of the first things that I mentioned. We have so many different customers that come in looking for these. Now, a lot of people know them as large cayenne, but we've always called them long Italian hots. And for whatever reason, when it comes to peppers, everybody has a different name for a different type of pepper. So sometimes it can be a little difficult finding out what people want. But for the most part, when we reference long hots, this is what we're talking about. Once I got finished with the long hot peppers, I made a jump over to where the sweet peppers are, and now I'm grabbing some Italian out. Uh oh, I might have grabbed too many peppers here. Nah, they fit. Good. I came up to where Matt was picking. He's grabbing some jalapenos, so we've got almost all the peppers picked that we needed to get. Jalapenos is one of the last things we need, so I'm just gonna jump in and help him. Make cowboy candy? Yep. Every single year we're gonna make cowboy candy and then we don't make it. If you've got a good cowboy candy recipe, leave it down in the comments. I'll be looking at it. Uh, Matthew and I have been talking about making cowboy candy for I don't know how many years, and we always get this close to doing it, and then I don't know, we just can't commit to it. I don't know why. But if you've got a good recipe, leave it down in the comments. Maybe we'll try it this year. Jalapenos are now done. Over my shoulder, Dad is working on grabbing some bell peppers. Over my other shoulder, somewhere back there is Matthew, and he is grabbing some herbs. We have no basil back at the farm, and that's when people want basil. So he's grabbing some basil, and then I made my way over to the poblanos. Now, they were too small to pick last time, so I'm going to comb through them and see if I can find any large ones. Oh, here's a few. Well, that is a... Wow. Looks like the bottom side of the plant. There's a few larger ones. Good sign. Well, I'm not finding too, too many, but I'm finding enough to make dad happy. These are his favorite peppers. He loves when they're stuffed. So I'm sure mom's gonna be after cooking them up for him sooner rather than later. Now, obviously we do not have enough room to take all this stuff back to the farm and it is lunchtime. So after lunch, we're gonna have to come right back out here and grab everything. And the reason why we're not taking it all with us is because on our way out, we need to grab, uh, what is it? Two crates or one crate of white corn? Well, at least one, so we, yeah. so we have some at least back at the farm. So we'll probably get one basket because it is lunchtime and then we'll be on our way. We got a lot of stuff picked this morning. I'm very happy about that, a lot of variety. This is one of my favorite times of the year when you start picking all different types of stuff. And then Matthew comes back to the side-by-side -side smelling like basil. Oh yeah. Lunchtime today, it looks like Grammy's made some pizza for us. We got all different types and one of my favorites, bruschetta. Alrighty everyone, we are now back out in the fields. I got out here a little late because Matthew already got the hot wax picked. We're actually at our second planting of peppers. We wanted to bring the wagon out here so we could pick up the rest of those peppers that we had harvested that we didn't have room for. So that's where we're heading now. We're gonna have to do some more picking this afternoon, but we wanted to get all that stuff out of the heat. Now that's what we would call a beautiful looking wagon. Look at all those peppers on there. Now the wagons are gonna continue to look really nice like this because, well, now we're harvesting a lot more. We're gonna be picking way more peppers than this and believe me, we're gonna be filming a lot of pepper picking action. You see that over there? You see those storm clouds are coming? Oh yeah, that looks like fun. Now we need a lot of corn for ourselves 
and that storm is looking ominous. So we're trying to get this done as quickly as possible. We're gonna get these two bins filled and we're also gonna try and get some cabbage picked before the rain. Is it gonna happen? I don't know. But you know what's better than standing around talking about it? Picking corn. I'm gonna get the picking corn. Check that out. It's really starting to get dark and we're feeling a cool breeze coming from that direction. Oh, we're gonna be getting it here shortly. We're also starting to hear the thunder boom off in the distance. I hope the storm's not too crazy. It's gonna start raining in 10 minutes. We can pick a bin of corn in 10 minutes. What are you doing there? I'm getting a head start. Boys are out there loading corn. I'm not sure what variety we're harvesting. It's not a... Uh... It's an earlier variety. Um, it's a, I know it's a 78 day variety of yellow and white corn. We always pl try to plant a 77, 78 day and an 80, 82 day at the same time. So we can pull off the two patches for a week. On the farm here, we plant about 35 to 40 acres of sweet corn is what we harvest in a year. It is all hand harvested. There is machines to harvest sweet corn that you go through and it takes and pulls the stock, strips the ears off the stock but most uh, machine harvested corn, unless your corn is really, really nice, it would have to be sorted. Now there are smaller ears in here, so uh, if we machine harvested this, we would have to sort it then anyway. So I don't see where it would benefit us much. We can pull a bin of corn in about 10, 10 to 12 minutes and we get close to, uh, we've been getting close to 700 years, 750 years in a bin right now when we're harvesting. You have to plant sweet corn weekly to keep it coming uh, regular for your farm market or even if you were gonna keep it for yourself. The corn is only good once it's mature and ready on the ear to pull when it has its best flavor. It's only good for four or five days and then it starts to get starchier. We, we say it gets hard. That starchiness is uh, taking the flavor out of it. But um, ultimately, the best way to have sweet corn is to have a continuous planting of sweet corn throughout the year. And so we do that. We try to plant every Monday. It does not work for every Monday. Sometimes we base it on the on the week. If you like lately, the weather has been really dry, so the corn is not getting up and getting growing too fast. So we couldn't plant as often as we would like. The reason for that is if you plant it too too quick, then you'll have everything coming on at the same time. So we like to have the first planting out of the ground so you can just see the rows and then it's time to plant the next planting. That's what we go by and that's what works well for us. Like I said, everybody's different. We're not by no means professionals, but we do sell 1,500 to 2,000 years of corn a day. So we are pulling quite a bit and sweet corn, uh, they seem to like the sweet corn in the area. A lot of people come in for our sweet corn. Now I'll turn you back over to Andrew. We just got that second bin of sweet corn picked. You can see storms are still on their way. So we're gonna hot foot it on our way over to the cabbage and try to get a bin of cabbage picked. I don't think we're gonna make it. The good news is I'm already wet. I'm so happy to hear that good news. That was one thick cabbage. cabbage pick that we needed but now we just got a call for an order of 50 white ears of corn so that's where we're going now you know we used to have a windshield on this thing i don't know what happened to that i'm not I remember. worried i'm not worried about the wind you're just worried about the rain yeah oh <laughs> andrew make sure you keep your eyes open so you yeah i'm trying out. this looks good Guess what? My seat got wet. Yeah, my seat got wet too. The silver lining is that we're done with picking for the day. 
and that's a good thing because the heavier rain it's gonna be here in about five minutes so we're we're getting home right away what was the point of him being in the tractor so he didn't get wet to just be out in and the now rain. dad's riding the quad around in the rain but i don't know what his plan is i'm glad we made it home in time well it hasn't stopped raining myself daniel and matthew are all sitting here on the porch this is about the time where one of the customers would come up and say, oh, we have a vacation today. And then you gotta just act like it didn't bother you, but it normally does. <laughs> just a god about inch of rain. <laughs> and it's still raining, but we wanna get these peppers that we picked earlier on moved out of this weather and into this, the cooler. And it is still thundering. And Ralph's here. Tell him, Ralph, what have you been up to? Nothing, because it's raining. He's been working, 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 working. So Ralph, people are gonna wanna know, what's your favorite thing that you miss picking? What do you miss picking? Pickles. Pickles? No. Yeah, I like no. eating pickles. Oh, good. Since it's still raining outside, we were looking for something to do, and we found out that we have an order for 10 boxes of cucumbers. Wonderful, I know. So we are polishing up the cucumbers and getting them all boxed up. That way they are ready to go when the customer is ready. It basically rained all afternoon, so we just ended up polishing up cucumbers and then doing whatever we could here in the farm market. It is now closing time though, so we're getting everything put into the cooler so that it stays nice and fresh. Alrighty, we are all here and it's time to eat some dinner. Yeah, of course we're here. Uh, Joel, Megan, Pop Pop and Mimi are down at my house hanging out with the babies and with us. We got some pizza and wings for dinner. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. And that also means this is where we're gonna end the video today. I'd like to thank everyone for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. bye.